best written record of history on Detroit Radio is reliable and true. Saturday in 1996, around 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, an 11 year old girl called me on the radio while I was doing my radio show. And she asked me a question. She asked, were there ever any great black classical composers? And she just asked this question totally out of the blue. I did not know how to answer her. I thought to myself instantly, if anyone is precocious enough to ask such a question, it demanded not a frivolous answer, but a very serious answer. So I didn't know what to tell her because I did not know nor had I been curious enough to find out. So I asked myself, what do I say to her? Do I say yes? And then I said, if she's smart enough to ask such a question, uh, she would certainly ask who. And if I were to say, I don't know, she probably would ask why. So, um, I decided just to tell her, I don't know, but I will find out. And when I come back on the radio on Monday night, I would announce my findings. After I had been totally transparent with her, I thought at least she would probably say thank you, but instead she said, would you? So I felt obligated to spend the rest of my weekend trying to find the answer to that question. So I decided to go to Dearborn Music. And when I walked into Dearborn Music, there was a young man behind the counter. His name was Josh Cheeks. I walked in the store and I said hello and I introduced myself. And I was totally transparent. I told him the whole story about uh, the little 11 year old girl. And she wanted to know were there ever any great black classical composers. And I came to a classical music store and I figured that if anybody could tell me, they could tell me. And as I was looking into Josh Cheek's eyes, they suddenly started to turn red. And a teardrop fell from his eyes as he was passionately trying to answer the question. I, I totally did not know what was going on. But emotionally, he responded to me. He said, you know, it's, it's strange that you would ask me such a question. He said, it's really strange that you would ask a question like that. He said, L let me tell you, a little story behind it. He said, excuse me for being so emotional about this. He said, um, you know, I was kind of fighting with my bosses. And I, I told him that we should do something for Black History Month. And they informed me that we, we don't have a, a significant enough of a, a black clientele to warrant such a, a project to the scale that you're talking about. And he said, you know what? 
maybe we don't have that clientele to that significant degree because we've never really done uh, like a total outreach to that community and we should and after talking with them and talking with them they agreed to let me do my project so he said you see that wall over there he said on that wall are some of the most incredible black composers that ever existed he said I just finished putting the wall up today and it, here you come in here and you ask were there ever any great black classical composers he said you got to understand what's the, what that is doing to me inside he said because you know I fought to get this done and they said yeah and no one thought that it would make a difference and the moment I put it up and, and I'm looking over there glancing at it, proud of it, you walk in and ask, were there ever any great, great black classical composers? He said, we're sure there were. It was, this is some of the greatest composers. He said, man, he said, you, you, you're tearing me up. And uh, I got a little mo emotional as well. He said, let's go over here and look at this wall. He went over each of the classical composers one by one and and talked about each one. I was just blown away when he told me about Chevalier de Saint Georges and his history and his life story. And all of the stuff that he was telling me I, uh, I could not wait to get back to the radio station to talk to this little girl that had asked me that big question and to announce what I had found. I pulled out my checkbook and I purchased everything that he had on the wall. And the wall that they had told him would not make a difference and he doubted anybody would respond to it. What do you think they felt when they came in the next day to find out that somebody had come in there and bought everything that was on the wall? And I spent the rest of the weekend going through the collection of great black classical composers, which led me to Chevalier de Saint Georges. <laughs>
listening to Electrify Mojo Rare Moments. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscription button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the 